Absolutely. How do you get the best picture though, right? I have literally no idea. I was telling you, sometimes I just take a video and try to take a screenshot from it, but we have a pro here in studio because Good. we want to get the right answers for you. You're going to the shows. We know that you want to know how to get those pictures and that's why we have Heather here with us. So while you're watching those fireworks, again, you may be tempted to pull out your smartphone, grab that shot. You don't want to end with a bunch of blurry photos. So Heather Edmonds, she's here to help us out. Heather, you are the owner and lead photographer for Moments by Heather Edwards. How are you? Yes. Good. Good. I want to start with, um, first, uh, you have five specific things. Yes. And the very first one you say <laughs> makes complete sense, stabilization. Yes. How do you do that and why is that? So the first thing, most people will use a tripod. Now you can pretty much find anything, whether it's on a table or a full-size tripod that you can use for a phone or a camera, but you just want something <laughs> to where your phone is not moving. I have a pretty steady hand, uh -huh. but mo a lot of people do not, so. So, and they're moving. I mean, fireworks are moving. It's hard to get that picture already, so just yes. take it out of your hands is the first step. Yes. You say no flash. I mean, our phones now, you know, they sometimes do that automatically. Sometimes we can't help it. So no flash. Why yes. is that? And how do you turn it off if your phone's just automatically set to it? So the, for the flash, when you go into your camera, mm -hmm. there's a flash icon right here. Mm -hmm. And if you just press that, mm -hmm. it'll turn it off. All right. So we're talking about the top left corner of your smartphone. Usually the flash is on the top left corner there. Yes. Um, and the reason for that is because the phones are so well now that you can there's some of them even have a night mode mm -hmm. but basically you don't want to take away from you don't want the flash to pull away from the actual light show itself because it's going to light up enough right so so take turn the flash off yes. uh, you also say don't zoom in which can be tempting if you are more than a quarter mile away from the fireworks and watching the show yes and this is actually a tip for any photos but when most people when you are taking a photo mm -hmm. you're prone to hit that two to yeah, zoom in yeah, yeah. or manually zoom right but anything past that one, you mm -hmm. start to degrade the actual image. Mm -hmm. So if you notice, if you zoom in, sometimes from afar away, the picture will look sharp and good. When you zoom in, it's all fuzzy and it doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. So the best bet is to take the picture from like the one mm -hmm. and then crop it. Right, go that in way, on yes. it yourself. And yes. that way you get the clearer shot. Yes. You say burst mode, use burst mode during fireworks. Yes, so on most of the phones, there's an option where either you can press and hold the this, where it'll either do a video mm -hmm. or there's like, depending on the phone, there's different options you can choose. Mm -hmm. um, but if you set it to burst mode where it'll take you know, 10, 15, 20 shots mm -hmm. at one time, normally at least one of those will turn out. Okay. So, It's yes. your better luck than just trying to hit it one time yes. on, the, on the fireworks. Yes. Um, what about the thought of, like I was saying just a moment ago, taking a video and then taking a screenshot of that. Kind of similar or is burst yes. mode better? Uh, burst mode is going to be a little bit better Okay. Um, because the phone is actually firing like each shot individually versus the screenshot. Oh. But um, it's not a horrible idea. Okay, so it's an option. Actually, I when my family and I travel to the beach, um, that's all of our family photos typically are that way because it's very hard to find someone. Even if I don't tell people that I'm a photographer, it's just very hard to find someone that does the same thing. Right. So I'll set my phone up on the tripod and do videos and then take screenshots. That's good. That's good. Good to know. Um, focus. And oh my goodness, that's that seems like maybe half the battle with these fireworks shots, right? Mm -hmm. So on here, on your phone, mm -hmm. Um, when you're doing it, the phone will try to automatically focus okay. on its own. But wherever the fireworks are, this little yellow box, yes. you're going to want to like basically press it and lock it in okay. on the fireworks there. So mm -hmm. that way, what is inside that box is what's in focus. Okay. Otherwise, the phone is going to try to pick and because they're going off, right. it, it may pick a firework over here or over there. So you have to do it each time then. So if it's mm -hmm. like a big, you know, one big burst of fireworks, if you will, focus and then reset again as they yep. go up. Is that right? Yep. Okay. What is it about focusing? I mean, will you just get one of them in focus then or will you get kind of all of the ones in that one center frame in that focus? As long as you make sure that the majority of the fireworks are within that box, then mm -hmm. everything in there will focus. So if you're not zooming in mm -hmm. and you're following that tip, and um, then you should get it all taken care of. And now we know, which is good. Yeah. And we're seeing these beautiful shots here, obviously, of these fireworks. Those yes. are incredible. Sometimes I just think I should just put the phone down and take it in, right? Sometimes we have to do that too, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. 
capture the moments in our minds, uh, but if you are going to capture by phone, Heather Edmonds, get us with the tips here. I want to put her information on your screen. You can always learn more by going to her website, Instagram. She's on TikTok and on Facebook as well. Heather, thank you so much for uh, all this good tips as we yes. go take our pictures. Thank you. All right, Kristen, over to you.